Mahamanav Aerospace and Research Exploration Private Limited. This is an internship program on avionics presented by Priyanka Ayali. Direct reading compass. In this module, we are going to study about the introduction, the location, the uses, and the errors of direct reading compass. Introduction. A magnetic compass aboard an aircraft displays the current magnetic heading of the aircraft that is the aircraft's directional orientation relative to the earth's geomagnetic field which has roughly north south orientation the compass can be used in turns to verify the aircraft is traveling in a desired direction at a conclusion of a turn the nature of the instrument and the alignment of the magnetic pole of earth causes the magnetic compass to have several significant limitations when used for navigation. A pilot aware of those limitations can use the compass effectively for navigation. The compass continues to operate despite of failures in the electrical, vacuum or pitot static systems. A compass turn turns using the magnetic compass as primary reference instrument are not standard practice in modern aircraft. Compass turns are typically performed in simulated or actual failures of the gy directional gyro and other navigational instruments. A magnetic compass is a simple instrument when the compass is not moving and is on the earth. A magnetic compass installed in an aircraft is subjected to compass turning errors during flight. Pilots must compensate for such errors when using the magnetic compass. Most of the errors inherent of the heading indications of magnetic compass are related to the compass's construction. An aircraft compass consists of an inverted bowl with a magnetized bar attached. The bowl is balanced on a low friction pin. The bowl and the pin assembly is enclosed in a case filled with non-acidic kerosene. The magnetized bar tends to orient the assembly with the local geomagnetic field. The bar turns the visible bowl of compass. The outside surface of the bowl includes marking to indicate the magnetic head. As the aircraft and the compass housing turns, the bowl remains somewhat stationary with the respect to earth due to the magnetic attraction. In summary, the aircraft is free to turn around the stationary bowl. The standard practice when flying with a gyro-stabilized compass or heading indicator is to read the magnetic compass only while in a straight and level unaccelerated flight. This reading is then used to set the gyro-stabilized compass. The gyro compass will read correctly in a turn where the magnetic compass can't be read properly while turning. Thus, the pilot will always ignore the magnetic compass while turning but periodically check the level unaccelerated flight. Have a look at these pictures below. Compass Location Location of the compass at any time of the aircraft is of importance and is predetermined during the design stage by taking into account the effects that mechanical and electrical equipment in the cockpit or flight deck areas may have on indications. In this connection, it is usual to apply the compass safe distance rule which precisely defined is the minimum distance at which equipment may be safely positioned from a compass without specified design values of maximum deviation being exceeded under all operating conditions. The design is measured from the center of the compass magnet system to the nearest point on the surface of the equipment. Values are quoted by manufacturers as a part of operating data appropriate to their equipment. This picture shows the compass location. Uses of the compass The magnetic compass is a primary navigation aid for most of the light airplanes. It's the only instrument in the most light airplanes that indicates the correct heading. Values are quoted by manufacturers as a part of operating data appropriate to their equipment. The direction indicator DI or directional gyro DG is simply gyro stabilized and can be set to any heading. To be of any value, it must be manually aligned with the magnetic compass on a regular basis. In using the magnetic compass for navigation purpose, there are more considerations than in just the turning errors. The magnetic compass displays several errors in its use, most of which is the DI eliminates. If for any reason the DI becomes unusable, 
pilot will need to be able to turn on to the maintain compass heading the cause of compass error is not as important how to compensate for those errors in a flight a basic understanding of the causes of compass errors is all that is required here are some compass errors pitch limits a limitation imposed by a compass construction is that the balancing bowl's pin which is connected to a pivot point only allows in the most compasses the bowl to tilt by approximately 18 degrees before it will touch the side of the casing when this happens its freedom to rotate is lost and compass becomes reliable magnetic dip a second limitation is the magnetic dip the compass dial will tend to align itself within the geomagnetic field and dip toward the northern magnetic pole when the northern hemisphere or towards the southern magnetic pole when in the southern hemisphere at the equator this error is negligible as an aircraft flies closer to the either pole of the dipping error becomes more prevalent to the point that the compass can become unreliable because its pivot point has surpassed its 18 degrees of tilt magnetic dip is caused by the downward pull of the magnetic pole and is greatest near the poles themselves it helps to negate the effect of its downward force and center of gravity of the compass pole hangs below the pivot compass navigation near the polar regions however is nearly impossible due to the errors caused by this effect when in a steady straight and level flight the effect of magnetic dip is of no concern so this was all about the direct reading compass